Hausa Yoruba clash. Osibanjo breaks silence. See what he says that spark up reaction online. Hello, my wonderful people. A lot of people are not very happy with the vice president of the country, uh, vice president, Professor Yemi Osibanjo. Why? Because uh, a lot of people expected more from him. You know, they said to whom much is given, much is expected. Yemi Osibanjo is one person like we will always hear us say, well read, somebody who is a professor who is a people's person right before he ventured into politics so much so that in lagos you know there have been you know uh, evidences that even area boys they can relate with him he can he goes to the grassroots people he's somebody who people can you know they look up to as a father who speaks for the voiceless but since he joined this uh, buhari's administration our very own vice president has become very silent in the face of issues and matters that nigerians will want him to represent them or speak emphatically to ensure that there is direction anyway my people with what is going on in, in your state he has finally decided to speak and this has ca ca caused no small reaction even online please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time we really appreciate you god bless you vice president professor yemi osibanjo argues that illegal activities should be viewed not as racial disputes but according to the rule of law on sunday while speaking at a reporter while speaking told a reporter about the incident, the clash in the Shasha market Ibadan, or your state. Osiban just said this. The vice president condemning the unfortunate clash said the Shasha signifies solidarity among individuals of different ethnic groups and urge community leaders to foster peaceful coexistence. In the past few days, he said, I have heard about the unfortunate confusion and the horrific loss of lives at the Shasha market. For decades, the Shasha market has been a moiting port for merchandise bringing food from the north to the southwest traders from the north have been doing business for decades with their brothers and sisters from the southwest and they have lived in harmony and even married one another unity is represented by the shasha and described by their unity the shasha people are a definition of what unity is about therefore when a dispute occur between the citizen or a criminal act is committed by one against the other we should ensure that we see to it what it's the criminal act and what exactly is happening we must publish and we must not leave out the rule of law we must ensure that we confront everything that wants to bring about disunity. According to the law, every Nigerian is, has a constitutional right to live, work, and enjoy their life in safety and peace. The vice president requested that Nigerians never take the laws into their hands, that adding that it is the responsibility of the citizens to help the police recognize the offenders. He urged all the leaders of this group to work together to maintain peace and commended the government for its swift action to contain the situation. The government must arrest and prosecute any individual who commits a crime against the citizens of this nation. Through the police and the other law enforcement agencies, we must ensure there is safety for all, says the vice president. It is the responsibility of the person and the responsibility of every individual to ensure that police locate and prosecute those who are committing this atrocity. We are never allowed to take the laws into our hand, not in any situation or circumstances. If we do, chaos and a breakdown of law and order will be encouraged and that will make our society as chaos and ungovernable. Particularly, the most vulnerable ones among us will be at risk and will suffer the most. I encourage the community leaders to work together to maintain and foster coexistence with one another. People of various parts of the country that they may be able to enjoy various decades to come as the social market is a symbol and a representation of what true unity in Nigeria is about. For his swift and 
tentative action, I recommend that the governor or, and the law enforcement agencies of all your state swing into action and ensure that the state is brought into a situation of peace. This is what the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yib Osibanjo, has said. Many Nigerians are feeling that, I mean, Baba should have spoken more. He should have been able to, you know, with regards to what is happening, the feel is merry go rounding. He's not saying it as it is. He's not really hitting the nail on the head. He's rather speaking more politically than a father, than a brother, as he should really be. You know, a lot of people are not very happy with the way things have been in late, of late. And um, the response through which they've been getting from the government actually have not really shown or depict that they understand the magnitude and what people are really going through. You know, the vice president of the country is one person that Nigerians really hold in high esteem and we really want more from him, so to say, you know, so coming up to say that uh, this and this and this and this are the reality of what is on ground. Of course, we, we, we see your point of view. However, more should have been done in your parts from your own end. You know, speaking, I mean, showing and leading by example. In this way, many people will be able to understand and know that you are for them. You know, I'm not saying you are against the people. However, people are no longer, you know, that position, that, that, uh, uh, that position and that really true reality of where people, heart and mind is with you. They, they don't seem to have it these days. I mean, they seem to be, it seems to be very far, they seem to be very far, you know, uh, with reality of whoever, could speak for the masses because i mean even those that we are once trusted looked up or looked up to have disgraced i mean have, have been have have not really encouraged or you know people people have not felt safe with them these are people that we are supposed to be the the hallmark of what you know transparency unity uh, uh justice voice for the voiceless should be and one of those was supposed to be the vice president. But I mean, it is what it is. Human being changes and... Um you can tell that this is one of those issues or one of those times that people have rather not very, felt very safe or very, you know, uh, together with all that is happening. But we'd like to hear from you. I mean, Vice President Professor Emil Sibanjo is greatly loved and, you know, uh, more is expected from him, from Nigerians. But with the latest development, what do you think? Do you think he has acted well for the people? I concur with his words. However, do you think it's enough? Leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. Don't forget to please like us share subscribe click on the notification button god bless you have a fantastic day bye for now